what's poppin', what's crackin', what's going on? I need to do a quick video while I'm waiting, basically, for tomorrow to pick up my car. Um, I was watching a live stream by Parker Get a Job, I'll put his account right here, um, and he was trying to explain to some Christian how inconsistent, basically, the idea of a perfect God is. Um, it, see, like, there's a whole lot that went into it, but there was one thing that I think was the most interesting that seems to be a miss. Um, this basically, he would bring. He mentioned like one. He mentioned a couple of contradictions, but let's just mention the the, the, first, the obvious one. Um, can if God is all powerful, can he make a rock so heavy that he can't lift it? And obviously, that's a contradiction, right? Because necessarily, if he's all powerful, he can do anything. So we can make a rock as heavy, infinitely heavy, right? Heavier than his limit. But if he's all powerful, then he shouldn't have a limit, right? So. Like, this is impossible. It's like, no, he shouldn't be able to do that. If he can't do that, he's not all-powerful, right? So being all-powerful is necessarily a contradiction. Just uh, so it, it, it can't make sense. If if sense can be made, then it can't make sense uh, effectively. Um, and the counter-argument was, obviously, because you get, you know, like, like the, there's nothing to say from that. The counter-argument for him was God works outside of logic, right? Um, or God, we don't, we don't, we don't know. Like you don't know if God is can has to follow the rules of logic, and I think th th that's where the issue came. I saw some people in the comments saying things like, um, "Someone said that God created logic, or God the lo logic doesn't apply to God." And some people were saying that humans created logic. Um, so one thing I think people there was a misunderstanding of the two things they're being referred to. You're saying logic as in the way that a person de determines whether something is true or even a good idea or like logic in, as in how a computer performs behaviors or like the order of, 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 of operations or priority like there's things like that where like a human did create that but like when we're using the term logic referring to a contradiction we're talking about the nature of reality so like one plus one equals to not because humans decided that so like that's a description of reality like the words that we use we created and the things that we're deciding to label as one we can decide that right but like a single instance of something is still a single instance of something absent of a human to decide whether that's the case and when another instance of something is added to that initial instance, that's always going to be two. That doesn't have anything to do with humans. Um, humans just happen to be something that can identify that being the case. So if an all-powerful being, like no, an all-powerful being added two things together, necessarily you'd still have to end up with two. It's not about being human that makes it so that math works the way it does. As we always say, like humans didn't create math, we discovered math. I think that's a problem a lot of people come into. Um, I was in somebody else's live stream and there's another issue um, this person wasn't even talking about religious debate but somebody just mentioned um, there was just like somebody who's doing quantum, who's a they said they were a quantum physicist um, I didn't even know you could be a quantum physicist I thought you could just be a physicist and you could you know specialize in quantum mechanics and whatnot but whatever um, people just kept asking like religious related questions and I'm like this one just be about science but and yeah, the point is, um, so there are other weird assumptions about like the brain and whatnot, and like people start losing. Like, there's a point. The point I want to mention with that is, see, someone was asking if you know they're talking about how time is um, basically time being relative and how time can be infected. But their point was like, doesn't time dilute um, based on density? And I had to verify what the question was. I think what they ended up, I had to, I it was like paying like a mod for the freaking, um, for the for the guy who was doing the video. And I wasn't like, that just happened to be someone in the chat just like answering people's questions so the guy could do his own thing. But I think what they meant was like density of mass, they said density of energy, but I'm like, I mean, since all matter is technically just energy in another form, kind of you're correct, but like a black hole, Effectively, yeah, you'll see time uh, altered at, at at that point, or going near light speed. Time is going to seem very different at that point. But like, other than really extreme circumstances, there's not really anything that like nothing a human experience is probably gonna have 
it seemed like time is changing at a very drastic point, right? Like you have to be going very, you have to do really extreme things, right? Um, they're, but they seem to believe that, you know, well, since our brains have energy, or a really dense amounts of energy, couldn't our brains, like how come time doesn't distort around us effectively? And it's just like a whole bunch of random pieces of scientific things people hear and then they kind of just like use that as a pillar for whatever other belief they already have so i think that's the same thing that was happening with you know this um religious person like they start with you know whatever belief the king's interest in cool like for the, the guy who's trying to argue that god was outside of logic he's starting with the assumption that god does exist right like that's in this guy's mind god just does exist then following from that um you know that like god's the all powerful and all, all these other all these omnis um and then anytime he's having a conversation with someone like we're, we're actually not trying to figure out it's like okay well if logic if understanding the rules of logic can these things be true like that's not how he has this conversation he's having conversation more like god is exists so what do the rules of reality have to be to make sure it's the case that god exists and i think that's a real big issue i don't really know I think the thing that's upsetting was watching the person have a conversation and seeing the chat was half and half. Half people being like, this guest is stupid, this guest sucks, and half people like, the host is stupid, so it sucks. It's really strange because a lot of people assume, like me or the host and the, the atheists, are starting off with the assumption that God doesn't exist or whatnot. When most of us are, are ex Christians, like most atheists, like, there's a lot of agnostic people or spiritual people who never had a religious first, but most people that are defining themselves as atheists likely were Christian or, or any one of the main Abrahamic faiths, and they'd be like, oh, that doesn't make sense. Um, but, I don't know, just, just wanted to complain a little bit about people. Um, I guess epistemology, they're, and they're prioritizing. Because, like, their epistemology seems to just be, like I said, like, what do I, what has to be true for God to be true? And then everything else is kind of falls from there. And they're not even really attached to any of the parts of the argument. So like, as soon as something's missed, I'm like, okay, that's like the, the rock contradiction. It's like, okay, well, now, once you get to the point where we're saying, well, we don't know if contradictions can exist for God. I'm like, that's an interesting talking point. But if reality doesn't have to play by any rules whatsoever at all we can't make any assumptions or assertions on it so why should we behave as if that's true like you can't know if it's true like they'll say like if a equal a always equals a right necessarily a equals a like that's not like a equals a is the same thing as just saying a right you're saying well sometimes for this being a equals b it's like okay that's interesting b has the same value as a like now but if you're saying a does not equal A. That, like that, that statement doesn't make sense, right? But if you're saying God for God, sometimes A doesn't equal A. Sometimes A equals B and not A. Like that, that, that's impossible, right? And it's, I won't say te technically. I'll say it's not impossible for a being to exist outside. It was like I have no idea whether there could be a being that could exist that supersedes all of logic and reasoning. Maybe, but since we can't like we can't do anything with that like that's like that's one of the reasons like i feel like people should really lean towards atheism it's kind of a thing like i talked to talked to a few people that were former atheists even and i think i don't like being this is more like it just seems like often even when i'm seeing people that were like former atheists like i don't know what, like i always wonder if because the logic doesn't seem to completely line up, like this seems to be the, the wrong things prioritized. I, I always hear at some point in a conversation, isn't that, isn't that crazy? Like, well, this doesn't make sense and this is still true, or but this is a magical this experience. Like some, something not making sense in being true seems to be enough to be like, to subvert everything. It just seems like there's like a, a, a hope that they want to replace, you know, logic with. I think I'm rambling at this point, whatever. Um, we're just gonna stop here. If you like what you saw, leave a like, do a subscribe, do a crime, just kidding, don't do a crime and I'm out.